Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am about 17 weeks and four days pregnant. And I'll show you my bum because that's my favorite part to look at other, other moms. Okay, so this is my bum. Um, and today's prenatal yoga video is about being gassy. So one of the um, things that happened to me that's not so pleasant and kind of embarrassing is that I um, am more a little bit gassy, I toot more, and sometimes it's you just like want to relieve that. And it's kind of embarrassing for my husband. <laughs> I mean, I think he doesn't mind, but for me, I feel embarrassed. But these are some of the moves that I kind of do to relieve that. And this might even help if you are um, having a bit of constipation. Okay, so we'll probably need a pillow to lie on. And then it'll be a few basic moves. We'll start standing. So you're going to step to the top of the mat or just come to the wide edge of your mat or you even if you don't have a mat you can just do this wherever maybe in your bedroom and we'll start with a wide legged forward fold interlace your hands behind your lower back inhale lift up back bend and then exhale maybe slight slight bend in the knees and fold over the legs and let's hold here for three deep inhales and exhales here so even though your arms are going up and over your head, see if you can shrug the shoulder blades down. So maybe one more deep breath here. Gently release the hands down. Roll the spine up one vertebrae at a time, chin towards the chest. Okay, and this one just kind of helps squeeze in your tummy so that it can you know, release the air out, then heel toe your feet together, hip distance apart, and then bend the knees, and then forward fold. And a forward fold as much as you can go to where you don't feel uncomfortable, but you feel a little pressure on the side of the tummy through, um, just because of your legs. Okay, one more deep breath here. And then gently halfway lift and then come all the way up. Heel toe your feet a little wider than your hips. Turn the toes out and you're going to yogi squat down. Okay, so you're going to drop it low and the knees will come to the outside of your tummy and then elbows will press the knees back. Now, if this pose is um, difficult or feels uncomfortable, you can roll the mat under and then your heels can sit on top of the mat and then I would sway from side to side try to press your heart towards your thumbs so almost like a slight back bend in the upper spine you can rock from side to side a little bit more if you want to then slowly release the hands down <sighs> exhale out and you're gonna walk the hands forward Okay, and that should give you some relief. This pose definitely gives me some relief for a bit of the tooting. And then gently roll the spine up. And this will be a good place to do some of your pelvic floor and belly breathing exercises. So you'll hold this pose for a bit. And let's just do three of those. So as you inhale, you wanna expand your tummy and open up your pelvic floor. And as you exhale, Hug baby in and squeeze all three holes together. Inhale, expand. And then exhale, hug baby in. Inhale, expand. And then exhale, hug baby in. Good. And then gently drop all the way down. And this will be our last pose of today. So you're going to lie on your pillow just to give you some um, uh, cushion for your spine. So you know your there's like a vein that goes down the spine that provides baby blood and oxygen so you don't want to stay on your back too long and if you do and if you do feel dizzy then you just skip this one so start to lie on your pillow okay and I'll lift my bum up 
So bum is not touching the mat. Start to press into the left foot and you're gonna hug the right knee towards the side of your belly. You can use left hand to stabilize and then you'll do half happy baby, hugging onto the inside of the right sole of the foot and then bring the knee to the outside of the elbow. And then you can switch sides, drop the right foot down. You can hold onto your mat for stability. Hug left knee to the side of your tummy. And then hold onto the inside of left foot and then bring the knee to the outside of the left shoulder. And then gently lower the left foot down. Okay, now to get up, you're not gonna use your core. <laughs> you're not gonna thrust yourself up. You're going to roll to one side and then press your way up. And that is it for today. And um, tune in, I'll post more videos as I get the juices flowing. Thank you.